Well, I've been living in this uh, borough of Montreal called Halshalaga for almost two years now. It'll be two years in August. And it never ceases to amaze me the amount of old vehicles that are still alive in this part of town, specifically old vans, big old gas guzzling vans. People fucking love them out here. It's amazing. These fucking Dodges alone, this model alone, mid 80s to early 90s, I think I've seen like five of these. It's amazing. Look, this one's got a skirt kit around here. Very cool. Bad how bad wheels though. Look at this fucking spare wheel cover chrome. It's got some big ass big ass fucking box there on the back. You don't see that too often. Hey, that reminds me, you know what I saw the other day? I was over at the Kerry Highway. And, you know, all the traffic's going back and forth and all that. And what do I see? I see a fucking RV pulling a Porsche. A Porsche! Jeez, I hope that uh, wasn't focused the whole time. I'm not sure it was. Uh, I'm going to use this fucking camera right till the end, man. Right till it gets fucked up. Anyway, what really caught my eye, though, was this... Uh, this old Maverick that I saw a few days ago. I'm, uh, mind you, I'm just a block away from my place here. And it's really funny to see this, uh, oh, I would say... 73 to 76 Maverick. Four-door sedan. It's funny to see this because just the other day on YouTube I was watching some old crappy movie on uh, from the 90s and uh, that was the star of the movie. Same thing, a four-door sedan Maverick, same same generation. And uh, I checked this car out earlier when I was walking back to my place from doing my groceries, and I noticed the wheels, these old Kragers, which got rust on them. Oh, fire truck responding, federal siren. Anyway, this car was in storage, man, a long time. I can always tell. You can always tell by the wheels, the condition. Look at the rear bumper. This car was probably fucking stored for like at least 15, 20 years. You know? Let's see if I can put a year on this thing though. Uh, there's a bunch of tape. Why is there tape hiding the plate? Anyway, I think it says 74. So we'll go with 74 because if you see two digits of a, on a license plate like 82 or whatever, that's probably the year of the vehicle. Eh, it's still a neat little inexpensive hot rod, so to speak. Eh? Nice leaf springs there. I like that color, it's very 70s, very orange, copper kind of color. You know, uh, uh, this reminds me, when I was in high school, in the early 90s, I, um, I had a friend, right? Steve, Steve Gull. And he bought a Maverick. No, wait. Yeah. It was a Maverick with a Comet grill. So it looked like a Comet. Anyway. It was a two-door. It was a beautiful car. It was cherry. It was red. It had uh, wire wheel covers. But one time we were driving down a fucking boulevard and the thing ran out of gas. You know? So I had to push the fucking thing like, I don't know, a mile or something. I think this thing is for sale. There's a for sale sign here. What does it say? It says Martin... 3,200. Didn't even put an area code. Wow, that's an old school guy, eh? No area code. I guess I assume it's 514, but I always tell people never fucking assume anything because when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. Anyway. Is this thing in focus or what? I think this fucking camera's getting near the end of its life. Fucking junk. Everything's fucking made as junk today. I've had this fucking camera. How long have I had this camera now? Two years. The lens is already fucked up. It won't stay in focus. Unbelievable fuck. Junk. Anyway, so there you have it. That's about it. A fucking old Maverick. An old Dodge Camper. And that Hyundai belongs to uh, a friend of mine lives around the block. He's got a few old cars, actually. But uh, I haven't seen him in a while, and I hope to see him soon, because he's a mechanic. So I want to ask him about my friend's Delta. Anyway, boys and girls, have yourselves a fine evening. Bye-bye.